Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are very pleased to join the OpenStack test sharing event. We are about to share the topic of is CIB FinTech company build the first and largest Chinese financial industry cloud with OpenStack. First of all, I would like to introduce the speakers. As the cloud computing general manager of CIB FinTech company, Mr. Zheng Zizhou will introduce the CIB FinTech company and tell you why they choose OpenStack. In addition, we also have another three speakers. We all come from the Chinese OpenStack company, AD Stack. And my name is Liu Jian. I'm the technical manager of East China, and I will tell you the solution based on OpenStack. Mr. Wu Shubo is responsible for delivering. He will tell you the key points of CIB FinTech Cloud's architect design. At last, our principal architect Shi Kui will answer your questions if necessary. Well, this is the four parts I just mentioned. Part one, CIB FinTech introduced. Part two, why OpenStack? Part three, solution based on OpenStack. Part four, key points of architect design. Okay, now welcome Mr. Zheng Zizhou to introduce the first and second part. Good day. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zheng Zizhou. <clears throat> A great honor to attend this um, sub, uh, OpenStack Submit in Boston. Uh, I, is, I, I am general manager of uh, I'm general man manager of cloud computing business division of CIB FinTech. I come from Shanghai, China. First of all, let me briefly introduce our company, CIB FinTech, and our financial in industry cloud, CFD cloud. CIB FinTech is a member of Ch China Industrial Bank Group. She founded in December. 2015 in Shanghai, China. She is young, but she was born of bank bank platform of CIB. Has been operating successfully for 10 years. CIB FinTech is a digital sol solution provider focused on the financial industry. So, service offering include ICE, PASS, SaaS, and BAS. We can offer integrated and comprehensive cloud service for small and medium-sized financial enterprises. Our financial uh, industry cloud has three major planning. First, focus on the completion of the existing cloud computing to upgrade, building a technology lead and in line with the banking regulatory uh, uh, requirement, industry cloud com uh, computing. Until now, with the application of OpenStack technology, we have finished the first step. Secondary, relying on the uh, experience of CIB Group's non-bank financial institutions provide cloud service for various in internet financial e enterprises. Thirdly, through the accumulation of data, provide more ac accurate, more timely, more personal financial service for small and medium-sized 
financial enterprises. Then, let me introduce key point of our pro platform. In 2007, we started our business with first customer, Dongying Commercial Bank in Shandong, China. In 2013, we have expanded our service to 15 banks. Uh, only one year later, we make a significant breakthroughs. Our client, our client quantity raised to 1,000. In 2015, CIB Fintech was founded. Up to now, we have already already provided cloud service to more than 300 banks and gained 10 years cloud operating ex experience. With business development, our, technolo our technology keeps upgrading. We started the business with IBM Power, Power System in uh, 2007. The upgrade of up, then upgrade to virtualization in 2012, utilizing WimWare. In, in 2016, we applied application, uh, OpenStack to upgrade our cloud platform. And this year, we have some breakthroughs in blockchain and AI technology. People may, people may be curious why we choose OpenStack as our uh, cloud op operating system. Let's talk about the benefits to, to OpenStack. <coughs> this is the map of China. You can see our customers have almost covered entire China. By using OpenStack technology, we, we can rapidly supply computing and storage cap capacities to users and help users rapidly develop, develop user-specific private network to ensure their application and data sec security. Users user can focus on their business capabilities, no need to self-build and self-operating data center. Relying on our technology support and service to meet their finance application request. <coughs> In the end, let me use three numbers to summarize our CFT cloud platform. First, number one, we are largest banking cloud service platform of China. Secondly, 300, we have more than 300 banks users. Thirdly, 400, we have more than 400 cloud service from S2 bus. Let me end my speech with a report published by Gartner in June 2017. CIB Fintech is a leader in banking industry cloud service and has been under CIB for many years, providing financial industry cloud service, managed hosting infrastructure and application service, banking instructor based business process outsourcing and consulting service in China. Then, our cooperation company, EG Stake, will introduce the technology detail of this project. Thank you. Next, I'll, next I will continue the speech. Let's go into the third part.
solution based on OpenStack. SEBI FinTech Cloud application function design includes three layers, core, service, and portal. Core layer is the most basic resource layer, includes compute, network, and storage. In the part of computer resource, we can not only provide a virtual machine based on KVM, but also can provide containers and bare metal service. The container can be deployed both in virtual machine and can be deployed in a physical machine. We used the ironic module to provide bare metal service. At the same time, we also solve the pro problem of multi-tenant in bare metal service. In part of network resource, we not only use network solution based on the pure software in this project, but also have a SD controller integration. And the part of network resource, a storage resource, we have safe and third FC storage in use. Service layer is for the tenants of CIB FinTech Cloud. It mainly includes three parts, cloud base, cloud base service, advanced service, and monitor service. This part of cloud-based service must be clear. We can see the cloud provides three types of storage, block storage, uh, cloud volume, shared file system, NAS, and object storage. We focus on the host HA function. When a hypervisor is done, the operation our VM automatic recovery will be triggered immediately. A few minutes later, the VMs was rebuilt on another on other available hypervisors. Advanced service parts mainly includes operation and management service, such as intermittent installment installment orchestration and upgrade. In the monitoring service part, we provide virtual and physical monitor includes VMs, cloud volumes, subnets, and physical controls, compute net storage nodes. Tenants can define monitor items and triggers. You can also analyze logs to for troubleshooting. Portal layers mainly provide access to CIB FinTech cloud, includes dashboard UI, command line interface, and APIs. These APIs include infrastructure, monitor, RPC, and install. The security part on the right runs through the whole CIB FinTech cloud. Well, uh, let's go into the last part, key points of architect design. Uh, this is a multi-level organization. As an enterprise tenant of CIB FinTech Cloud, he needs multi-level organization to manage his cloud instance. We insert one more level between domain and project which is implemented by subdomain based on domain concept of Keystone. Using domain and subdomain and project concept, user can organize the department flexibly. Find granted management of all resources on the cloud platform. 
more accurate audit and monitor the results for different department and team. And this is a bin in system design. Based on cellometer resource metrics that data, bin in system defines the items of DX and VM egg. Binning will calculate the cost accurately. Second level. All the data will be updated into the binning database. Binning will also organize the basic statistics that in to different level, uh, which you see uh, the cloud binning detail, the domain and department and project. For each level, statistics user can export their usage for day, week, month, and year. Not updated. It's not updated. The screen is not updated with the my laptop. All right, uh, this is a business system design. Based on cellometer resource metrics data, business system defines the items of disk VMs. Binning will calculate the cost accurately, accurately. Second level. All the data will be upgrade, updated into the binning database. Binning will also organize the basic statistics data into the different level. Uh, cloud, domain, department, and project. For each level, statistics user can export the usage for day week, month, a year, which will help IT department to predict the requirements of IT system. Also get the accurate data of cost and the resource alloca allocation in different departments. Okay, I will invite my colleague Oshu Bo to introduce the next key points. Okay, the third key point is large-scale deployment. CIB Fantai Cloud has 400 nodes now. There are four nodes making up a controller cluster for running OpenStack service API, high available models, and so on. For the efficiency of database access and, open, uh, and OpenStack service communication, there are three nodes deploying my so-called gatherer cluster as a database for CIB Fantai Cloud. And another three nodes making up a RAPMQ cluster for message transmission. More than three hundreds of compute nodes divided into APP aggregation and DMZ aggregation for the security of necessary the APP aggregation and DMZ aggregation use their own storage pool. Considering the performance of data space application and the big data application, 
CIP Fantike deploys OpenStack service, OpenStack ironic service. And this service provides bare metal management. That based, uh, that based and uh, uh, that based cloud application and the big data application runs on the bare metal. Using the same private network with CIB Fanti Cloud virtual machines. CIB Cloud uses safe integrating with OpenStack. There are, four, there are 14 storage nodes and four hundreds of OSDs. In the future, CIB Fanti Cloud will use commercial storage to provide more volume types. CIB Fantai Cloud has been planned to increase to 1,000 nodes this year, and the architecture will be changed for the larger deployment. For example, OpenStack Stellometer Service and uh, Billing Service will use their own random queue cluster, and uh, MongoDB will be separated from the controller node. CIB Fantai Cloud integrates with H3C SDN for the network, router, and the firewall functions. Four nodes make up SDN controller cluster, and uh, there are two open flow switches in one rack as leaf nodes. The leaf nodes act as the VLAN gateway and the response for the transforming VLAN and the VSLAN. There are four cruise switches as span nodes that acting as VSLAN IP gateway. The span nodes are responsible for the communication of VSLAN and the classic network. Neutron FWAS integrates with H3C M9000 firewall device and realizing the protection of tenant network. In the SDN architecture, when tenant creates a net or subnet, there is no change in configuration of the rack space. The, the first package uh, of MVM in the network will be sent to the SDN controller, and SDN controller will establish Westland terminal, and the following packages of all the and that the following packages will use this VSL internal to communicate. Packages in compute node is VLAN node and will be converted to VSL mode in the type device as definition. When tenant creates a router, there is a VPN instance will be created on the gateway switch and when associating a subnet to a router, will create a VSI interface on the gateway switch. That stream will be out and in, use this terminal. And in SDN architecture section, introducing the dead stream on north and south. And let us think that two tenants have the necessary of communication. In this situation, the data stream must be transmitted over the two tenant routers, and all the packages must be filled by tenant firewall. In the other situation, that two tenants have necessary of communication in one tenant, and the tenant router will transmit the data between the two subnets, but how is the security of the two subnets in one tenant? In the picture shown, the VM data stream will be pulled to security results pool. In the security results pool, VFW is a virtual firewall that controls data stream between two subnets in one tenant. And uh, the VLB is a virtual load balance. The VLB and the VM firewall make up the service chain. As shown in the picture, this is the real data stream in the network fabric.
So that's the so that's a, uh, of all of the contents of uh, our sharing. So do you have any question? The solution, solu the, the, the SDN solution is uh, cooperated with our partner to to in integrate it together, and uh, details of the implementation is implemented by the partners. Oh. So we integrate with our open stack. Yeah. Also, including all the the NFA part of the NFA functions. Uh, also uh, supplied by their uh, our partners. Okay, thank you. Any questions? We, we have deployed our cloud system uh, within two data centers, separated. Yeah. Yes, we use the multi-region solution to uh, use the unique uh, horizon, the, the, the dashboard and uh, the unique uh, keystone and the user uh, management to, uh, to manage uh, the multi-region cloud. Any other questions? So in our solution, total solution of the CIB, for the CDIB platform, we have uh, many improvements uh, such as, uh, I just mentioned that uh, subdomain and also, uh, uh, also some uh, customization. There, uh, for this kind of uh, the uh, improvement, we should uh, cooperate with different uh, OpenStack modules, such as the Keystone, uh, Cilometer, and also the billing system. Uh, we can use, uh, uh, based on the domain sub uh, concept, and we embedded uh, 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 similar to the uh, uh, solution of the project, so there is parent project and a sub project. We implement the uh, domain and the sub domain, and also for uh, and the function of the quota uh, for the domain and also the sub domain to control all of the uh, usage of different department. So that's a very fine grained management and very accurately to uh, for for the uh, IT department they can. Uh, predict uh, what kind of uh, department will use more resource here. So that's uh, very convenient for the user, or for the customers, to make the uh, uh, bucket for the new, new years. Do you find this API have for you? Yes, we, we reconstructed uh, the, the, the domain and the subdomain, and we use uh, uh, the data structure of the domain with uh, uh, extend, uh, extend uh, uh, parameters there. And we, uh, yeah, because we, we are use uh, extra uh, parameter, uh, parameters so that they, the API is the same as the original. So we supply different parameters to uh, implement this uh, new function. Uh, actually, we we should uh, do some more work that we should reorganize uh, the data and uh, also sure we, we use uh, API uh, and but with a different parameter. That's the difference. So, any questions?
more questions? Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.